What's up guys, DJ Mike James here, uh, doing another product review for you, another one of the lights that I use. Uh, I know you're going to see some videos out there, some much bigger uh, movie headlights that are, that are really impressive, but I'm telling you, if you're a DJ on a budget and you want to run a nice, sweet little mini moving head, these U-King 70 waters are what I use on my trusty. Now we have them staged here on the 10 foot truss, typically I'll run a 15 foot or 14 8 or whatever whatever they are, but uh, I want to go through these a little bit with you guys. Um, there's a few things I really like about them. Uh, as you can tell, I have them angled at a, at a sort of at an interesting angle, only because when you hang these things straight up and down, they tend to want to stay pointing down. They may come up a little bit or shoot behind me or, or things like that, because typically, you know, my truss is a little bit out in front of me and my boots would be here, and I want all that lighting out on the dance floor. And I haven't kicked up a little bit because when I'm at bars and nightclubs, I really just don't want to start hitting the bartenders and stuff in the face, depending on where they set me up, of course. So for my last setup, this is where I had them at. Um, lots of different color options in these. I have them on sound active. Um, I usually have the sensitivity down because the clubs, I mean, I get, I get pretty loud. I mean, I, I, I was running nightclub sound. So uh, I want you guys to get a little bit of video with these and, and check these out and I'll talk a little bit more about them here in a second. So as you're taking a closer look at these lights, uh, I really like them. Like I said, they're kind of a DJ's dream in a sense. They are minis. I can fit all four of them in one bag. I got oak clamps on them. I have them lined up on my trusting arm ready to DMX together. I think we might have one mixed up right now, but uh, neither here nor there. Honestly, they sync up together. Love the opaque color rings on these. They just give you a, just a visual... So just something to look at while you're waiting for that beam to come back across. It does give you a little something to look at on the head. Now, I do like the way that these are set up. I don't, I mean, like I said, the ones that don't have them, it's fine. It's just a personal preference. Uh, the gobos in these, I mean, they got some really cool ones in there. I mean, they're, they're fairly standard. They're not, you can't really change them or anything like that. But 
like I said, for I mean a, a really decent light show at a fairly affordable price, say the price of one of those bigger uh, moving headlights, you can get all four of these. You know, and and it is you know like I said, I've been using these at the nightclub, and it's been a game changer for me. You know, along with the fog machines that I talked about last time. But um, yeah, the the coloring, the gobos, the movements. I uh, keep them a little bit further out, you know, like I said, I don't want that. I want them more on the dance floor. I may change my setup now that I'm not at the same place that I was before, but uh, U-King, 70 watt moving head, gobos slash pin spots. I mean, if you want to set them to that, you can do that as well. Multiple color options, color rings, sound active. I usually just leave them on sound active and they'll, and they'll do what they do and they are, they are a really nice light. So, uh, if you are interested in something like this, you know, uh, you know, a smaller setup, and these don't have to go on a truss either. These can go on your T-bars. Like I said, these are considered mini moving heads, and uh, they're super convenient, super lightweight. Um, you're up and down, and in no time I have them wired into my harness, so I just plug them in, the DMXing, everything's already ready to go. And uh, like I said, super impressive light. You King, love them. Like I said, I got these uh, from uh, DJ Fire. I think he got them from You King, and I, I just love them. I wouldn't trade them for anything. I know that you'll see some videos on these big giant ones, but like I said, to have a, a, a nice dance presentation, if you, even if you're not running trusting and you're running T-bars or running some other system, these will sit on the ground. They'll do the same. They'll do those same types of things. They'll automatically run through their gobos, like the rose. I really like that pattern. That's a decent one. Uh, the lighting schemes will tend to line up with each other, which I do like also, which means the beam gobo light plus the outer ring light will tend to line up, and that does make it for a more cohesive show. And a lot of times those lights, they somehow catch up to my other lights, and, it, and it sometimes they'll all be blue and green, or they'll all be red and purple or red and pink or something and it's just kind of amazing how that they end up doing that on their own but it just could be the way that they cycle through the shows so like i said if you're interested in checking out a light like this you can sell these 70 watt moving head gobos with the color light ring on them uh, i love them i wouldn't trade them for anything so uh, make sure you check those guys out man too because they do have some good lighting over there and uh like comment and subscribe